We are back, and uh, we make, we've made a little tiny bit of progress. We found a bicycle pump. How about that? Bicycle pump. the issue. Come on. <laughs> okay, one would say the bike controls are janky. At best. What the fuck is the bike for? I assumed it would be getting past like the water. Sound is quite good. Oh, here we go. Pro BMX are right there. You saw that shit. See this path before. This is an unnerving place. I had never been here when I was little. Nanny kept me well away from it. What is this place? This never used to be here. Another entrance, maybe? Something bad's gonna be in there. Like, I talk about how Bray, like, oh, you know, I just want this game to start. Like, I don't, I'm not a jump scary game kind of person. But I find it funny. I'm like, talking about, like, oh, I just want this game to take off. Whoa. Hi. Hello. Um. Hello. Um. Hi. Hello. Fell through the map. <laughs> okay. So we lost a tiny bit of progress. Did we actually develop the film? Oops, it's a diary. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna redevelop it just in case. I'm thinking we did, considering. Considering this. Yeah, we must have. So now we know what we must do. Florence, July 15th, 1944. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. Daddy's cane. Get this scene they again so just to make sure. But I can't say why, but they have always scared me. There's the bicycle pump. Here's the bicycle pump. Bring a pump up that bicycle again. Dante's Inferno illustrated by Dore. Always hanging cheery things. During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? Okay, so the bicycle is done. Oh, there will surely be one in the basement. Let's get off. I mean, reading is fundamental, you wouldn't think, right? With the rest of the photo equipment, or I'm not seeing any inter any interactables. Oh wow! I'm um, smart. Camera is set up with the self timer. <laughs> Ooh. 
No, you watch. There's gonna be something creepy behind her, right? Calling it now. It's gonna happen. The photo's gonna show up and Martha's gonna be behind her. Right? Right? That's it's what's gonna happen. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which okay. it was torn. I'm going to be very disappointed. Those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. I'm going to be very disappointed if this photo does not end up being like somebody behind her. Like the setup. And I'm highly yes, disappointed. This is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. Highly disappointed. There was some build up there, there was some tense music. I was obsessively thinking about Martha. And highly disappointed. Happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Okay, this could be interesting. Of course the door is locked. If the keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. I thought I fucking read the newspaper. I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. What's this? What's new? July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. Yet another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's. My sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me thinking I was Martha and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake and now it's too late. If they find out I've been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. 
I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha, pretending to be deaf. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now and I felt incredible pain placing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realised she was gone and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. Partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them, so it's just impossible. Like, how the fuck are you gonna get a photo in this dark ass room now? It's dark and I can't turn on the lights. It's dangerous. I'll need a flash for the camera. I can look for it amongst Daddy's things in the room below his bedroom. Well, that answers my question. Look at the fog. Look how foggy it is. Is it finally gonna happen? I don't have the courage to use the phone. Not right now. What fucking courage? I'm too scared to pick up the receiver. Shit. We're going to the creepy place. There's definitely some tension right now. You. A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. Oh, 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 really? With this lens, I can shoot very close up. Orange filter. When there is fog, it improves the image by giving it some contrast. Blue filter. Ideal for indoor photos. Photograph. My dead sister. Must admit, it's definitely creepier now. And the music's gone. Okay, I thought it just said you can see what the... Uh, maybe it's like the infrared wouldn't pick up. Yeah. Did legitimately tell me a flash. This must be his study. Ah, look at how beautiful it is. Actually, that is pretty fucking cool. All jokes aside, nothing in there. Here's the camera flash. Now I can photograph Martha even in the dark. Daddy stuff. War maps. I've heard everything will play out on this new defensive line. Well, we actually ended up making a decent amount of progress in this episode. We will see you guys in the next one, where maybe things get spooky. Peace out.